In this video, we are going to learn about shock. What is shock? Shock happens when the body is not getting enough blood flow. The primary function of blood is to transport oxygen and nutrients to the various organs of the body. When there is no blood flow to these organs, it means they will not get enough oxygen and nutrients to function well. Lack of oxygen and nutrients can damage many organs. And this is where shock comes in. So what is shock? Shock is inadequate delivery of oxygen to the cells or reduction in effective tissue perfusion. What are the general causes of shock? Causes could be things like allergic reaction, measure bonds, dehydration, Measure bonds and dehydration could be as a result of fluid loss. We have heavy blood loss, heart failure, or infections. What are the signs you have to look out on your patient who have shock? These are also general signs. There are things like pale skin, increased heart rate, cool and clammy skin, low blood pressure, rapid breathing, and generalized weakness. Types of shock. We have different types of shock. The first one is cardiogenic shock, caused as a result of heart problem. Hypervolemic shock, caused due to low blood volume or fluid loss. We have obstructive shock, caused as a result of obstruction of blood flow. And then we have distributive shock, and under distributive shock, we have anaphylactic shock caused by allergic reaction, neurogenic shock caused due to damage to nervous system, and septic shock caused as a result of infection. In the next video, we'll be discussing them as individual topics. We'll discuss their signs and symptoms, the treatment and interventions you need to give to the patient, and everything you need to do for the patient. If you haven't subscribed, please do so, so you get notified when the video is uploaded. Thank you for listening. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe.